Hey guys, this brief video is about the basic Chinese word sheng qi. Sheng qi, which means to be angry or angry. So here's an explanation about how this word works and the characters inside it. Sheng qi. So the sheng part actually means to produce and the qi part means energy. Qi is a very important word in Chinese philosophy and culture because it's, well, it means energy. It's equated with this kind of power. If you remember, I don't know if you've seen the Jackie Chan and Jaden Smith uh, Karate Kid movie, there's a train scene where he explains to him that they're learning about Qi. And this is just a picture from it. He actually draws the character Qi in, in traditional Chinese. This is the simplified character. So together, sheng qi means to produce energy, and I think the implication is that it's negative energy in your body. Hence, sheng qi means to be angry. Here are some examples of how to use this word in everyday speech. The first one is 我很生气, very basic example of sheng qi as an adjective. 我很生气, I am very angry. The second one is 你不要生气,他是你的朋友。你不要生气,他是你的朋友. This is a good example of how 生气 can be a verb. So in the first sentence, 我很生气, it was an adjective. In the second sentence, it was a verb. 你不要生气, basically don't be angry. Now in English, you could say be angry is the verb to be angry. But there really isn't a verb of angry in English like 生气. So that's the best translation, but it's not exact. 他是你的朋友, he is your friend. So don't be angry, he is your friend. And the final one is 生气对你不好. 生气对你不好. In this sentence, 对 means uh, treat, to treat something. So, 生气, anger or being angry treats you badly or being angry is bad for you. Thanks for watching. I hope these are helpful for you.